Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of area, specifically how we can use it to solve our word problems, and we'll do it in five minutes or less. So we have a simple problem here. It says the lid of Jeremiah's shoebox is 14 inches long and 6 inches wide. What is the area? So there's our keyword there of the shoebox lid in square inches. Now we'll talk about why we need to include the square inches in just a moment, but if we wanted to draw our own shoebox, we could. We could say, well, here's a rectangle, 14 inches, 6 inches. Now, what we need to remember is how we find area. The formula for area is fairly simple. It's length times width. So in this case, it's going to be 14 times 6. And in the sixth grade, in the fourth grade, sometimes we put a little dot right there. We still could do an X for the multiplication, or sometimes we just might use parentheses. All of these mean the same thing. But we're going to start moving away from this X as multiplication in the fourth grade, because as we start getting into fifth grade and sixth grade, we start learning about unknown variables, and sometimes X represents that. And so this length times width is going to be 6 times 14, or 14 times 6. Fairly simple. But what we need to remember is what this square inches actually represents. In the third grade, whenever you would look at an area problem, you always had little boxes. These boxes are still here, they're just kind of invisible. So if I were to look at this width as six inches, what that means is that there are six rows, one, two, three, four, five, six. And if I were to look at the length as 14 inches, that means there are going to be 14 columns so if I were to just start going like this, I've got two, I've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. There's my 13 and 14. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, we've got 14. Now that's a lot of drawing. If you really wanted to, you could start you can start numbering these one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on and so forth. But that's why we come back to this equation. It's just a much simpler process. We've got 14 sets of six. We're skip counting by six. Six, that's 12, 18, 24, all the way up here. Because area is always looking at imaginary squares that cover a rectangular surface, a square surface. Uh, in upper grades, you'll be looking at triangles, trapezoids, even circles. But we're looking at little imaginary squares. That's why our answers are always in square inches, square units, square meters. So let's just figure out what is 14 times 6. It's going to be 24. So that's 84. So we can write it as 84 inches squared, or we can write it as 84 square inches, you sometimes you'll see it abbreviated SQ. But that's how many little squares we have here, 84. Let's look at another problem. So we have a diagram here, and this is uh, showing us a sand table. And we're trying to find the area of the sand table. Now the entire length of the entire contraption is 15 feet here, and the width is 8 feet. But you see that the sand table is just this inner part right here. This is where the sand would go. And the entire uh, length of the sand table is not 15 feet, because this 15 feet includes a little section for tools, that's 2 feet, and a little section for water, that's 1 feet, in case you want to make some wet sand castles. So how can we find the area of just this shaded part that I see here? Because we don't know what this length is right here. Well, let's make sure we get our equation. Area equals length times width. And we know that our width is going to be 8, because this 8 goes for this whole section right here. So that's pretty easy. We'll write length times 8. Now let's see if we can figure out what the length of this sand table section is. Well, we know the entire contraption is 15 feet. But this right here, that's 1 foot for water. This right here, this is 2 feet for your tools. So it looks like this is going to be, this uh, length here is going to equal my total 15, take away the 1, and then take away the 2. So that's going to be 12. So now my area is 12 times 8, so that's 96 square feet.